or WhatsApp you to Bronis with it and I train in this tutorial I'll show you guys how to color grade your images in Lightroom Classic or Lightroom so basically I've been doing so many tutorials about how to do skin retouching and color grading just Photoshop so I think this is the one for those that only use or have Lightroom as a raw processing software so basically this is the image we are going to be dealing with I'm just going to reset everything I'm going to increase on the size so after importing your image into Lightroom it is usually going to be under the develop mode so under develop you can't have the adjustments on the right hand side so what you have to do you have to simply come and select the develop mode and you're going to be able to get this uh, to the develop mode and you have these settings right here so that you can play around with them and tweak them here and there so I recently did a behind the scenes for this first shoot and I'm going to put the link for you guys right above here so that you can watch and check it out and about my lighting setup and everything you need to know about this very shoot and I did it at around midday and the sun was too harsh so basically I'm shooting it at high speed sync and the major emphasis for this background was the sky because I wanted to get most of the detail in the sky but as you can see it is really minimal so that is what we're going to be targeting plus the outfit of the model and color grading also the skin tone so basically what I would love to do I'm going to first of all come right here under the basic adjustments so this is the basic adjustment panel so what I would love to do I'm going to come to the highlights and simply and knock them down because I want to regain most of the details in the sky area since uh, the sky was really uh, really overexposed and it was blown out and I'm also going to do the same for my whites but I'm just going to do this on a slight basis to around negative 39 and as you can see we're already getting back the detail all the information in the sky area then what I prefer to do I just I'm just going to knock down the blacks slightly to around negative 7 and also pump up my shadows just a little bit to around 11 then I'm also going to add some little bit of contrast to around 5 I think that looks fine so anything I want to do I'm going to come under the white balance option remember I shoot with a Canon camera and Canon cameras usually uh, embed like some kind of magenta or reds in the skin tones of the images or in the overall image so I'm going to come and move this slide. I'm just going to uh, left click right here and move this towards the opposite of of magenta or you can call it red towards the green side to around uh, negative uh, to around 2. 2 is fine for this case. Then the next thing I want to do, I'm going to leave the white balance the way it is because I feel like it is a really perfect white balance for me. So remember we are doing a color grading tutorial. So if at all you wish you can add some little bit of uh, clarity to the image and I'm going to play around with this later after doing the color grading to this very image remember after you have done your color grading most of the times you're going to notice that the image may be having so much color and saturation that's why I'm going to leave these for or save these uh, sliders for the last I'm going to come all the way down to the HSO panel so this is the HSO panel and under this, uh, we have hue, saturation, and luminous. So, hue, saturation, and luminous. First of all, the very first thing I want to tackle for this case is the luminous option. And I'm going to be explaining, explaining all that in a bit. So, luminous is more of the lightness or darkness of a particular color. So, if at all, we want to darken or lighten a given color, for this case, uh, we have the sky to deal with in this very image. I'm going to come to the blues. Remember the sky contains usually uh, some kind of blues and some little bit of aquas. I'm just going to come under the blues and I'm just going to simply knock uh, the luminous value towards uh, the dark side or towards the blue side. So I'm just going to push it like that. And as I'm doing all this, you're going to notice that the sky is getting back the information and we're having that kind of dramatic sky. In this case, I'm just going to push it towards around negative 85. And I'm also going to do the same for the aquas, just like that. I have to get back uh, the information in the sky. So let me just undo this so that you can see the before and after. I'm just going to turn this on. 
So you can see we started right here and here we are right now. So the next thing I want to do, I want to go uh, for that kind of orange and teal look for this particular image. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come under the saturation and first of all, I push the saturation of the uh, blues all the way up. So I'm just going to click, left click and move this towards uh, the right hand side. So to add more color to the blue area just like that. And as you can see, this as well adds so much color or it gives this image a whole different vibe. And I'm also going to do the same for my aquas, just a little bit. So I'm not going to take the aquas all the way up. And as you can see, the image is now looking really, uh, if at all I come to the sky area, you can see how, how much information we have in the sky area and which we don't have in the before image. So basically, that is what I will do for that. Then right now, I want to gain, regain uh, the information or make this a top, I don't know what you call it, maybe shut. I want to make it pop a little bit more. So if at all I want to make this pop, I'm first of, of all going to come to the luminous and just darken this a little bit. So since this looks yellow, I'm just going to left click and drag this down a little bit. And as I do that, you're going to notice that uh, it is going to change in color. Remember, this was done at midday and the top or shirt was a little bit blown out and my light was around hitting the same area right here. Then after doing that, I'm going to come the saturation and also pump up the saturation of the yellows just like that. And as you can see, the image is now really nice and popping. So what I want to do, I'm going to come to the hues and I'm going to play around with these colors. So hues will be changing colors according to a, give, a given, I should call it a different op or opposite shade. So for example, if at all I hue the reds, I'm going to be changing them towards the oranges. And if at all I hue the oranges, I'm going to be changing them towards the yellow side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to first of all change the hue values of the blues or the aquas because the major emphasis is the sky and the skin tones for this color grading tutorial. I'm going to come to the blues and move uh, the blues towards the aqua side. So I'm just going, you can see when I move this towards this side, I be moving it towards this color. And if at all I move uh, the aquas towards this side, I'll be moving the aquas towards the green side. So basically it is going to be like an orange color orange and teal kind of look that we are going in for for this tutorial. So I'm just going to be moving this blue towards uh, the aqua side just like that uh, to give this image a whole a different vibe just like that. I hope you can see how the image turns out to be or to look. So don't mind if at all it is getting to look a little bit oversaturated. I'm also going to do the same for the aquas and I'm just going to push the aquas towards as uh, a blue side just like that and i think uh, this looks nice and beautiful so the next thing i want to ta tamper with is uh, the skin tones of this specific model so i'm just going to uh, zoom in just like that so you can see the before and after so what i want to do i'm going to play around with the hue values of this very uh, skin tone area i'm just going to come to the oranges and hue it towards uh, the yellow side, just like that. And I'm going to also hue the reds towards the orange side, just like that. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. So as you can see, the image is really having a really different vibe. So what I want to do, I'm going to come to the luminous and really darken the oranges, just like that because I want the skin tone to, re to really have that kind of melanin look or feel added to it. So I'm just going to uh, turn down the luminous even more towards around negative 18. Remember, luminous is more of the lightness or darkness of a particular color. So I'm just going to leave it around 18. Then since uh, the oranges are really too much, I'm just going to come back to the saturation and simply I reduce on the saturation of uh, the oranges just like that and I hope you can see 
our before and after so far and this is more or close to the skin tone of this part of this model in this case so what i want to do i'm going to come up and i'm going to do some little bit more of the adjustments right above here i'm just going to come back to our basic panel and simply pump up my shadows just like that because i want uh, the face to really be lit enough so you can see where we have the image or where, where we have been able to get the image to and we have gotten back most of the information so i would recommend those who love shooting in jpeg to also try out shooting in raw because raw really retains so much information and you can't be able to regain back the information if at all you blow it out in the highlights or when you're shooting so i feel like uh, these images are too much towards the green side and i'm just going to come back down here towards the hues i'm just going to yeah the hues and i'm just going to uh, take the oranges uh, down towards uh, the reds just like that uh, to get back the image looking more pleasing so i think uh, this is nice and beautiful for me so you can as well go ahead and do your eye whitening in lightroom too so if at all you want to do your eye whitening in lightroom you can simply uh, click on the eye area and hit command plus to uh, zoom in and left click on right here so when you left click and move you'll have the hand tool that is going to em enable you move towards different areas so in order to do the eye whitening to your images what you have to simply do is just coming and getting a, what is called the adjustment brush tool in photoshop so just come and select it and when you select it we have to set it in a way i'm just going to uh, reset everything right here we have to set up the adjustment brush tool in a way that is going to enable us whiten the eye remember when we are doing eye whitening we want to whiten the white area of the eye so by whitening the white area of the eye you have first of all notice which colors we are going to be eliminating or removing from this white area of the eye and in order to know those colors you can see i uh, have some yellows and some little bit of greens in the white area of the eye and we have some other colors so that is what you have to take into consideration so in order to eliminate on the yellows in the white area of the eye you have to simply move the temperature towards the opposite of yellow which is the blue side so just move it towards uh, the blue side just like that just going to go uh, negative 29 and since we have some green color in the white area of the eye i'm just going to simply uh, push this towards the opposite of green which is the magenta side just like that to around a negative uh, to around 72 rather then i also want uh, the eye to pop so by popping i mean to brighten up the white area of the eye and specific parts that look white maybe the catch lights in the white area of the eye so i'm going to just push up the highlights to around five and also do the same for the whites to around six and since we have some kind of different colors that are not yellows and greens in the white area of the eye I'm just going to come to the saturation option and simply uh, knock down this saturation all the way down to around negative 70 and after doing that the adjustment brush tool is going to be ready for use so we're just going to start so how you have to do this simply left click and hold down and start painting over or in the white area just like that and as you can see it is really now whitening or applying the whitening effect onto the white area of the eye just like that i hope you can see so if at all you want to enhance the catch lights you can simply paint over them so the thing about this tool is when you paint over the skin like this you're going to notice that it's going to be removing color from the skin area so you have to be careful and only paint over only the white area of the eye and don't paint over this area because that area is is not going to look really natural and realistic so we all have this area that kind of looks brownish or 
reddish or orangish so you're just going to come and click and move towards the second eye and also uh, whiten it just going to zoom uh, out a little bit so and I'm just going to hold down the space bar and move towards this side so just come and paint over the second eye so if at all you also want to whiten the teeth of as a model in a particular image you have to also do the same and as you're doing the teeth whitening for this case you also have to whiten an individual tooth at a time because you don't want to whiten the gums of your model so i'm just going to zoom out by holding down com control minus or command minus and zoom out so this is how to color grade in camera raw and if at all you want the image to even pop a little bit more you can come all the way down to the calibration option and you can simply push the saturation of uh, the blue primary even more just like that so i'm just going to leave it at around 18 and let's see the before and after for the calibration i've just uh, made uh, these colors pop even more so this is all for how to color grade in lightroom and if at all you have loved this story don't forget to give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching from this channel for the very first time uh, ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet more tutorials on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating